Hi boys and girls! Will you please turn your Journeys Readers Notebooks to page 208? We'll be doing page, two, page 209 after that and then we're going to skip a page and go to 211. And this is in our Grade 1 Volume 2 Readers Notebook. Okay, see you there! Okay, boys and girls. We're going to be working on our spelling words. They are words with the suffixes li, e, and full. And so you tell me which word sounds correct in this sentence. And we're going to write it down. I did a card trick or I did a card tricky. I did a card trick. Let's circle the word trick. T R I C K. I'm going to switch to a different marker. So it was trick to find the way to the park. It was tricky to find the way to the park. It was tricky. It was like full of tricks. Tricky. So, trick E. It was tricky to find the way to the park. Are you going to be able to spell trick and tricky? I think it's sort of tricky because it has two letters that spell the k sound. Okay, I like to hmm wash the car. I like to help wash the car. I like to helpful wash the car. Obviously it's help. I like to help wash the car. That's one of your spelling words tomorrow. When I say help, you spell H-E-L-P. Help, help. I like to help wash the car. When I wash the car, I am very help. When I wash the car, I am very helpful. Helpful. Okay, first we spell the word help. Help. And then we put the suffix full. F U L. Helpful. When I wash the car, I am very helpful. Are we already on number five? I was sad to hear my mom call me home. I was sadly to hear my mom call me home. Sad. Maybe you were having some fun outside with your friends, but then it was starting to get dark and she wanted you to be safe. But you were still sad. I was sad to hear my mom call me home. I sad walked home. I sadly walked home. I sadly walked home. That means in a way that is sad. I sadly walked home. Okay, well, I hope that you study well for your spelling test and that everyone makes 100%. Okay, let's have a look. We're doing a review. Um, we're reviewing our indefinite pronouns. So those are like special pronouns that take the place of people or things. So they stand for the names of people or things. They do not take the place of a noun for a certain person or thing, though. Okay. It says to write the indefinite pronouns that best complete the sentences. But let's go ahead and look at these first. Is anyone here yet? Guess which word is the indefinite pronoun. It stands for the name of a person or thing, but not for a certain person or thing. So is anyone home? It could be anyone. It's not a certain person. Anyone is the indefinite pronoun. Okay, let's see if we can find the indefinite pronoun. 
Do you have everything you need? Which one's the indefinite pronoun? Which stands for um, the name of a person or a thing, but not a certain person or thing? Everything. Do you have everything you need? Did someone say my name? The indefinite pronoun is someone. We don't know who it was. It could, you know, could have been anyone. Did someone say my name? It's indefinite. Something made a hissing sound. They don't know what it is. It might have been a tire. It might have been a snake. It might have just been an annoying brother who is trying to scare you. Okay, something made a hissing sound. That's an indefinite pronoun. And here's the last one we'll practice. Is everyone going to the party? So they're not talking about certain people. So it's indefinite. We, is everyone going to the party? They're not sure who. Okay. So you tell me which of these indefinite pronouns goes best in this sentence, all right? Fly guy knew, mm hmm I'm sorry, fly guy knew something about being a pet. Fly guy knew anyone about being a pet. He knew something. He knew where his home was in the jar. Uh, he knew his boy's name. Okay. So Fly Guy knew something about being a pet. Buzz liked everyone about Fly Guy. Buzz liked everything about Fly Guy. I think he liked everything. Every, th every. Now we're going to write the other word, thing. Th, ing. Buzz liked everything about Fly Guy. Okay. Everyone was amazed by Fly Guy. Everything was amazed by Fly Guy. So the correct indefinite pronoun is everyone. Everyone was amazed. I think you knew that one. Everyone. We're first going to spell every, ever, e, every, and then we're going to write the little word one after it. One. Everyone was amazed by Fly Guy. Did everything teach Fly Guy his tricks? Did someone teach Fly Guy his tricks? Someone is the indefinite someone, the indefinite person, the indefinite pronoun. Did someone teach Fly Guy his tricks? Okay, one more page. Did we say we were going to skip this one? Yes, we did. So go ahead and put an X on this page. We're going to work on our grammar. We were working on adverbs this week, and they describe verbs. So over here it said, it says adverbs can tell how, where, when, or how much. And it shows us some examples. Buzz ran quickly. How did he run? Quickly. Buzz ran here. Where did he run? Here. Bun, buzz ran yesterday. When did he run? Yesterday. Buzz ran a lot. How much did Buzz run? 
a lot. Okay, so down here we have to rewrite each sentence, but we're not going to do that. Okay, guys, we're just going to write the adverbs. Add the kind of adverb shown in parentheses. So these are called parentheses. Okay, so there's parentheses here. So right here where it says flies find food, we have to tell where. Where do flies find food? Sometimes they find it underneath the table if kids are not eating neatly. Sometimes they find it in trash cans. Let's say trash cans. Fly, flies find food, and we'll take off this, ec, this little period, in trash cans. Trash cans. And then we'll put our period. Okay, if you X'd out that period, then you don't have to write flies find food. You can just leave it there. Flies find food in trash cans. That's where they find it. In trash cans is where, and it's an adverb. Fly guy chewed a leaf. When? When do you want to say he chewed it? Yesterday? A minute ago? Today? Let's say, since it says chewed, we can say yesterday. Fly guy chewed a leaf. No. Put a little X over that period. And then let's write the word yesterday, because that tells when. Yesterday is an adverb. Fly guy chewed a leaf yesterday. Period. Okay. He chewed how? How did he chew? Did he chew with no teeth? Did he chew quickly? Did he chew slowly? Let's just say slowly, okay? That's how he chewed. Let's cross off the period. That way we don't have to write he chewed. We can just say how he chewed. He chewed, let's, just, let's say quickly. He chewed quickly. Qua, e, k. There's two letters that spell the k sound. Quickly. He chewed quickly. And now we can end our sentence. And now, since since I've already answered these, I'm just going to cross them out like that. You don't have to, but I, I just want to. Okay, finally. He ate how much? How much did you, how much did he eat? He ate too much. He ate um, he barely ate, but then I'd have to switch the order. How much did he, he, he eat? How about so much? Let's say he ate so much. Remember that hot dog, how he ate the whole hot dog? He ate so much. So let's cross out that period because we're not done. He ate so much. He ate so much. And I ended it with a period. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you learned something about adverbs. And over here we practiced indefinite pronouns. And over here we practiced your spelling words. So I hope you learned something today. Bye-bye.